Hello and welcome back to What's Happened. My name is Colin, and this week we're going to be going over number nine from Magic Hat, a fruit and field beer that is a 5.1% alcohol by volume. And like I said, they're from, it's from Magic Hat Brewing Company of South Burlington, Vermont. And I thought this is, you know, episode number 99, the penultimate episode of What's Happening. So I thought number nine would be fitting. I tried looking for a 99 beer out there, but I, I was not uh, successful, so I found Magic Hat makes number 9, so let's try that. Oh, uh, and Beer Advocate gives us a 78, or okay. So, uh, on the front, got the neck label, it says Magic Hat, little star moon logo in the middle. On the side it says, a sort of dry, crisp, refreshing, not quite pale ale. Uh, the front is this orange logo with the black border with this kind of like swirly stuff going on. It says number nine with a little star in the middle. Not quite pale ale. Ale with natural flavor. Magic Eye Brewing Company, uh, South Burlington, Vermont, and then Rochester, New York. They must have another uh, maybe brewing location in Rochester. But I know like South Burlington, Vermont is like that's where they're, that's where they're from originally. And then on the back information, and it says Number nine is a sort of dry, crisp, refreshing ale whose mysterious and unusual palate will swirl across your tongue with subtle notes of fruit and a floral hop bitterness. Beyond that, we dare not tell you more, for with each sip, mysteries are revealed and still more questions raised. Why number nine? Why indeed. So, enough talk. Let's... Oh, oh. And then this giant swirling pattern on the front with their uh, star moon logo. I would love to go out to the brewery um, out in Vermont. It'd be so cool. Um, I remember seeing pictures of it on their like box, and their entrance to the place has got it's like this giant like tower with a with a wizard cap on top. It's kind of wow. neat. Um, but they'd also make, just make really good beer, and I'd love to go out to uh, Vermont and, and uh, get a tour or check out the place, whatever. So, similar color to uh, Dead Guy Ale, like a golden honey color of sorts. Maybe a little bit lighter, a little cloudier for sure. Definitely get some fruit aroma. Mostly weed up front, but a little bit of fruit coming through maybe like an apricot, I think. Yeah. So uh, let's give this bad boy a try. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. There's all these fruits coming at you. You definitely taste like a... There's that apricot. And maybe banana? I don't... Yeah, it's like a light banana flavor, but not overpowering. But it's, it's definitely a mixture of some couple of fruits, obviously wheat, but it's it's pretty good and pretty light tasting too. It's not like very heavy. So I'd give this a, a four and a half out of five. I think it's pretty good. Or a nine out of ten, if you will. Next week is the last episode of What's Happening, episode 100. And we're going with a nice Belgian beer. And that's all I'm going to say about it. I usually give a little preview, but that's, that's it. It's a uh, Belgian ale for the finale. My name is Colin. And that's what's happening.